Yo what's up guys my name's Hacky and I haven't done a garages tour video in a long time so I'm making this video to give you guys an update on what's going on. I'm not gonna go through each car thoroughly in detail just cause that would make this video like an hour long so I guess I'll talk a little bit about the ones I particularly like but besides that we're just gonna briefly walk through them. Let's go into the newest type of garage we have in the game which is the Eclipse Boulevard 50 car garage. I don't actually have all these garages fully filled up but but I guess I'll still go through the cars I do have in here starting with the Virtue this is a beautiful supercar a lot of the cars in this garage are more recently released than the other ones it's got the chrome and white Benny's wheels beautiful blue paint job I really like that one then we have the Eudora it's got the F1 wheels on there with the tan paint job also a nice and classic look on that one a deluxe with an all green paint job with the F1 wheels then we have this beautiful like gold and white type combo on the Stinger TT. This is one of my favorite cars in the game now. It definitely does look pretty clean with the pearlescent on it. Gives it a nice shine. It's got the 07 on the livery. The wheels look nice. Then we have the Elegy with my current crew color. Just the black wheels with the lollipop type color on the paint job. Then we got the F1 wheels on the new monstrosity. I do like this bright red on the paint job I got going on. Also the red branding on those wheels. Let's go into the next garage now. We're starting with the Scramjet. This is a very clean design on it i believe it's a pure black paint job looks super super clean black benny's wheels on that then we have the toridor with this very nice shade of green we got another deluxo in secret gold the champion with this really nice like all red design i like the wheels on those torero xo with the pop-up headlights i like it on that car and then the clean looking ice white bennies the vigilante with this like hot pink type color the weaponized ignis with that same galaxy paint job as on the torero xo very nice looking bright red paint job on the itali rsx and then finally the br8 just in orange and then the ice white on the f1 wheels that's my go-to f1 car in this game let's go into the next garage now i guess i might as well just go over this oppressor this is my go-to oppressor it's got the purple crew chrome paint job on it let's go into the eclipse towers garages i got three 10 car garages in there the Virus quad bike, I got it when it first came out like that. Then we got the Stallion with the gold wheels, pure black on the paint job. I like that one. We got the super luxurious looking, what do you call this car? Oh yeah, the Windsor drop with the tan design. The VSTR with the F1 wheels, I do like the bright blue on the paint job. We got the Weevil Custom, nothing too modded about this one, but I do like that shade of green. The Everon, I do like those big, big gold Benny's wheels on it with the gold pearlescent. The Vamos muscle car with the F1 wheels wheels it's got that super bright minty type paint job i really like that then we have the vapid ellie with a really clean like bluish type color also the f1 wheels and then the vision with this extremely clean looking design and finally this 007 looking vehicle which is called the JB700W with the all silver. I really like that design too. We have a Snoop Dogg design on the Maniana Custom. As you can see, it's got the Snoop Dogg on the Yankton plate right there. Really cool design on that one. Then we have the Jester. This is a very OG sports car. I do like the design, the blue and white. The Lynx with the UK livery. That's one of the coolest liveries in the game, if you ask me. ADF Drafter with a very clean looking paint job. I like the Benny's wheels that I put on it. A Post Malone design on the Super Super Diamond. It's got the P Malone on the Yankton plate right there. I do like that. Just an all white design. Nagasaki Outlaw in blue right there. Really clean looking paint job. Then the Windsor drop with a Connor McGregor design on it in green. The Serrano with a beautiful looking purple paint job. I like the Benny's wheels on that. Very bright paint job on the 811. And finally, the Fudo with this darker type red. I really like that like wine red type paint job with the ice white on the F1 wheels. Let's go into the next garage. The Sovereign with, I believe, a pure black on the paint job. Ice white on the wheels. Very clean design on this one. Of course, the Yankton plate and stuff. The Zantorno with this, like, baby purple with the bright blue. I like that color combo. Then another baby purple, but this looks more like a matte paint job baby purple rather than the metallic looking one on the Zantorno. Then we have, what do you even call this car? The Asbo in bright red with the F1 wheels. The Yosemite with that baby purple ice white on the 
F1 wheels or the Benny's wheels right there. Then we have an absolutely beautiful looking blue paint job on the Bobcat XL. I like the Ice White F1 wheels on that. Then we have the Stafford. Very nice looking vehicle right there. I went with the rose gold on the paint job. Then we have an absolutely beautiful looking blue paint job on the LG Retro Custom. The Krieger with this really cool looking black with the black Benny's wheels. I like that. And finally, the exclusive Halloween bike. Into the office garages, starting with one of my favorite vehicles, which is the Issy Classic. I really like the surfboard on the top. I got this like red and yellow design going on with the Benny's wheels on there. Then we can see the glitch roof on the Buccaneer Custom. Very clean looking darker blue with the white on the secondary color. A rose gold paint job on the Neo right there with the Benny's wheels. The Gauntlet Classic Custom with this nice design. I like that we have this wooden back to this very clean design on the Rat Truck. Then we have the Helion, one of my favorite vehicles in the game with this lava paint job and the F1 wheels. Then in the next floor, we're going to start with the Panto with this all white design. It's got a lot of invisible parts on it. As you can see, we have the Michael Jackson design on the Glendale Custom. It's got the M. Jackson on the plate. Really, really like this design, I have to say. The Tornado, of course, with the Mexican stuff in the back. I like this paint job a lot. We got the in-game Tesla, which is called the Raiden. It's got an all-white design on that one. The Novak with this beautiful looking red. We have the, the Huntley S. I was about to say Hustler, but the Huntley S. Really like the wheels on this one. Also a nice blue paint job. And then finally, Trevor's truck with a teddy bear in the front and like a galaxy type color on that. On the final floor of this garage, we have the invisible back for the Coquette Classic. I really like this car. I don't exactly know how you get this invisible back anymore. It was with an old glitch, so I'm not exactly sure. Then we have the car from Fast and Furious, the Jester Classic, I believe. I believe it's from Fast and Furious. An all orange paint job on the neon. I really like that. Then we have just a regular Karen S95 right there. The Thrax with a cotton candy design on it. It's a very popular design to have on that. Then we have the Sugoi with like a black and red paint job. And finally, the Flash GT with a darker green. I really like this shade of green, I have to say. I might just start doing these in first person. That might be a little bit smarter, so forgive me. And to the next office garage, we have a black, white, and red design on the Furia. We have the Devasty 8 with this baby purple type color. The Hellfire with that really cool like minty green. Franklin's car with this like really bright blue color. And then finally the Paragon R in this nice all purple design. We have a BF Bifta with a very special Toy Story design. I really like this design. I think it suits this car very well. It definitely looks like a car from Toy Story or something like that. Then following that is one of the cleanest designs you might have ever seen on the Vizzy own just the pure black paint job black on the wheels the wheels look amazing as well that one's just an absolute beauty then we have a silver design on the f620 the karen sultan with this like blue and gold the dominator gtx in purple with some blue with the marshmallow wheels ice white wheels on the tornado rat rod this is like a peach type color i really like that and finally the rat loader with the invisible truck bed in the back i really like that dark purple as well this floor consists of some bigger vehicles so we got the night shark with the rare gta 4 livery then we have the Camacho with this all gold design. I really like the wheels on this one. The Weasel News van with the F1 wheels. I like the paint job on that. The Caracara 4x4 with this really dark purple. The Saint King XS with this brighter type purple. The Guardian in orange. And finally the Insurgent pickup with the Snowflake livery. And besides that, just a lot of red. And on to the final office garage, starting with a really cool blue and green design on the Zentorno. It's a little hard to see in this lighting, but trust me, it's a really cool design. The Osiris in all orange, I really like the look of this car. The Tesseract with this extremely light blue color with the white pearlescent on it. A Batman design on the Thrax. This is like a black, gray, and yellow. I really like this design. The Joker design on the faction custom donk another helion with a pure black on the paint job marshmallow wheels very clean design on that one brioso 300 with this very light peach type color i really like that paint job we have the exclusive christmas vehicle which is the clique we got that in purple the hermes in green 
Then we have a nun design. This is like a devil design on the Fagaloa. It's just a really clean pure black paint job with some white accents. I think it looks super clean. Nebula Turbo in secret gold, the Z type in purple and secret gold, and then the half track with this like really cool shade of aqua type color. It's like in between an aqua green and an aqua blue on that one. Then we have a really clean design on the Wagner, just a black and white, mainly black. Drift Tampa in green and also a little bit of red. We have the blade with this really cool color combo. The purple and peach orange color combo is one of the nicest in my opinion. Then we have a lava paint job on the Deviant. Really clean dark blue design on the Vapid Ellie or actually the Tulip, not the Vapid Ellie. The Phoenix with this really nice aqua blue color. And finally, this is a Benny's vehicle, I think, the Yuga Classic in Secret Gold. Now for the Arena Garages, let's start with the Comet Retro Custom. It's got the bright red, the ice white on the wheels right there. The Arena War Issy in purple, the Frankenstein also in purple. The T20 with this super nice looking darker blue on the paint job. The Rebel GTS with this peach color. What do you call this minivan? Oh, it's just called the Minivan Custom. That's got the Skulls livery on it. Then we have this extremely big Cerberus. It's the Future Shock Cerberus. It's got that F1 wheels. It's got that like type of purple or pinkish type color. It's like a hot pink, I would say. Then a rose gold paint job on the FMJ. And then the Hustler with this like really cool like aqua green type. Type color on this floor my go-to sports car the tally gto with that wine red on the paint job yet another helion right here with this like i believe it's a crew chrome minty type color with those cool looking ice white on the benny's wheels we have a crew chrome blue type paint job on the Krieger. Let me go in first person so you guys can see the cars better. We have this bluish type paint job with the hot pink on the pearlescent, the Furia in dark purple, and finally the Lurcher, which is an exclusive Halloween vehicle. Let's go into the actually, we missed a few cars. Never mind. We have Michael's car, which is called the Tailgater. We got that in a minty type color. Pure black paint job on the T20, and finally, whatever you call this garbage vehicle the slam truck which is a horrible vehicle don't recommend buying it a tan paint job on the viscerous this is actually a pretty cool car we have the speedo with this like peach pink type color i would say the adder in green with the two white stripes we have this nascar which is called the hot ring saber that's also in purple the party bus with this like cool shade of red i would say a baby purple type color on the bf club another baby purple this time on the t20 then these final two cars right here are the Jackal in pink and finally the Penumbra in light blue. Let's go into the next set of garages which are going to be next to the airport. My second Oppressor Mark II with the money livery this time. Then we have the Furnace Classic with this like darker tan type color. Secret gold color on the Mesa. The Dubsta 6x6 in purple right there. The Insurgent pickup with the Galaxy livery. The Contender with an orange paint job. I actually really like this color, I have to say. The Yosemite, I think this is. No, the Drift Yosemite with this bluish, greenish type of thing. I like that. The LG Retro Custom in all white with the 360 on the Yankton plate. And finally, this quad bike, which is called the Blazer Lifeguard. On to the next garage, we have the 770 with this nice looking silver design. We have the Schlagen GT in orange. We got the Lost Slam Van with this really nice light blue color. Slam Van Custom with a really nice looking purple paint job and the wheels going partially through the car. We got the SC1 in purple right there. I got a lot of purple cars. Vagrant with this livery. We got the Zorso in this like orangish type color. We got the Cognacetti 55 with this like purple and light blue. I like that. The OG supercar called the Turismo R with this nice like light peach type color. And finally the Coquette with this really nice shade of red with the gold on the pearlescent. Sterling GT in purple. Another Turismo R this time in a bright yellow. Another Coquette right there with this like reddish and white design we got the chameleon this is an electric car the buffalo patriot stretch with the money livery we got the nightshade in blue we got the ruiner right there in purple itali gtb custom and then finally the penumbra ff with that livery in this next garage we have benny's wheels on the r88 f1 car kind of cool to see benny's wheels on an f1 car we got the Pariah right here in light blue. We got the Warner in a darker blue. The beautiful looking Prius in baby purple. The Rapid GT Classic in red. 
the Vaca, which is a really nice looking Lamborghini. I really like this shade of like a lighter green with a gold on the pearlescent. Turismo Classic and dark red. And finally, a really cool shade of like aqua green, I would say, on the Rustin. A pink design on the Issy right here with the Benny's wheels. We got the Ardent right there with a cool looking livery. Emerus in blue. Then we got the Tyrant in purple. We got the Infernus Super OG car. I really like it. It's got a nice shade of blue on that. Sentinel XS with like a minty crew chrome color. Itali RSX in a dark purple. Then we got the Free Crawler. Don't see this vehicle often. And then finally, the XA21 with a purple crew chrome on it. Let me know your favorite vehicle that I've showcased so far. I'd love to hear what it is. We got the iWagon right here with that like brown and green. Definitely an interesting color combo. The Sin Camilla with this like orange and white design. We got the Astrin with this like blue color and also the gold wheels. The Buffalo STX and this like pink type color. Another Buffalo STX this time in blue. A green champion right there. We got another I Wagon this time in blue. We got what do you call this car? The Xeno. Very clean looking supercar. It's got a nice light blue color on that. Omnis EGT with a silver design on it. I really like this car. It's one of the best Amani Tech vehicles, hands down. We got the 300R right there. We have a couple of Patriot Mill specs on this floor. This is the first one. We have a purple one. Then we got the Nero Custom right here. The Comet S2 Cabrio. Really like this car. Another S2 Cabrio, this time in blue. Another Patriot Mill spec, this time in like a hot pink color. Then we got an all black Patriot Mill spec, which looks super mean in my opinion. Secret gold design on the Jubilee with F1 wheels. Yet another Jubilee, this time in a minty type color with Benny's wheels. I like this one a little better than the Secret Gold one, personally. And finally, the Cyclone 2. I use this vehicle for HSW time trials mainly. Green paint job on the Squatty. Brighter green paint job on the LG Retro Custom. The Flash GT with this red and black design. Saber Turbo in red. Then we got the Sovereign with the American livery. We got the Peyote Gasser with the uh, stock looking wheels in the back. And then the customized wheels in the front. Burgundy type paint job on the Tulip with this really nice looking shiny gold pearlescent with the white on the wheels. Yosemite Rancher right there in purple. Then we got the Remus right there with that like brownish orangish type design. And finally, the Desert Raid. Dominator ASP in blue. RT3000 in secret gold. Fudo GTX in secret gold. Fagaloa in this like peach color. Comet S2 with that paint job. Or that livery, I should say. Then we got the Vito Classic in blue. Vector. Euros with this like really interesting shade of purple. That one's a cool one. Remus in dark red and a stock LG, which is not anything special. Darker blue color on the Growler. This is an absolutely beautiful car. It looks very similar to the Comet S2. I also like the ice white wheels it's got on there. Speaking of the Comet S2, we got a lava paint job on this one. Warner HKR with like a kind of like a subtle blue color. That's pretty cool. Another Comet S2. Then we got the Streeter, don't see this very often, it's got pretty large wheels I have to say. RT3000 with an interesting design, we got a gold design on the Tailgater S, we got the mm -hmm. Jester RR, another Jester RR, and finally the Calico in red. In the beautiful auto shop, we're gonna start with the ZR350 in green with the Sprunk livery, I really like that. We got a baby purple color on the Growler. We got a very clean like gray and white design on the Comet S2. Rose gold paint job on the Vector Warner HKR with a green and yellow design. That's a cool color combo. Secret gold color on the Dominator GTT. Jester RR with this cool color combo. Calico with this bright blue. Then we got the Remus with this like aqua green color. I like that. And finally, the Fudo GTX. Might as well show off the Motorcycle Club, even though I have a few interesting motorcycles, no more than that. Matte blue paint job on the Batty 801. We got the BF400 in Secret Gold. We got the Sanchez right there with that livery, another Sanchez. And then we have these two cool ones. We got this electric bike, which is really expensive, the Power Surge. We got a chameleon color on that. 
And finally, the Shinobi with this nice looking pink and white. Finally is our facility garage, which has about six vehicles, I believe. I do also have my hangar, but the only interesting thing in there is like a cool blue looking laser. That's about it. So this is the final actual type of garage we have to showcase. Red and white combo on the Broadway. Then we have F1 wheels on the BJXL with that nice looking red paint job. We got a pretty stock Tahoma coupe, nothing too crazy about that one. Entity MT with this very cool looking paint job. It's like an orangish type thing, but it's a really cool looking car nonetheless. We got the Banshee 900R in blue with the bunnies wheels. And finally, the Journey 2 with that pink. And we got the cool looking livery. And that is pretty much gonna do it for this pretty long tour, I have to say. Let me know which vehicle was your favorite out of all of these. I'll be interested to know down below in the comment section. I really hope you all went on to enjoy this video. And now if you want to see the fastest vehicles in GTA Online, click the video on screen now for it. I hope you all enjoy that video. And peace.